My name is Huli, I'm 20 years old, and I love to bake. So it all really started during quarantine. I was bored and hungry, so it kind of just made sense, you know. I started off just baking some cookies and brownies here and there, but it's definitely turned into more of a routine. It's definitely keeping me busy, which is great nowadays. Yeah, so here's a couple of things that I want to bake by the end of the week, you know? My days all start the same. I usually start with a muffin for breakfast. Pretty big sandwich for lunch, you know. And definitely something new and different for dinner. Oh, and I can't forget about dessert. <laughs> it's a nice de-stressor, and I think I got a rhythm going. I go to the store every so often to get ingredients. I'm pretty good at saving money and just getting the things I need. Overall, I think it's great for my whole apartment. My roommates love just always having something around to eat. We hate it. It sucks. I never want to see another cupcake again. Holly's a great roommate, but she's been baking nonstop and it's totally getting out of hand. I mean, like, everyone went through that baking phase of quarantine with, like, the sourdough and the banana bread, but, um, Huli never really stopped. I mean, it's nice that she always has dessert for us, but it's just way too much. She's given me a brownie every day for the past three weeks. I can't even really taste them anymore. They're just always there. It's taken over the kitchen so much, I haven't cooked dinner in weeks. Hey! Hey, girl! Can I just use the microwave? Yeah, sure, go for it. Our electricity bill is through the roof. I actually think the oven's been on 24 seven and I'm not even sure if she sleeps some nights. Uh, Huli? Mm. Oh, hey, w want a cookie? At this point, I'm getting worried about her health. All that girl eats is sugar, and she's definitely addicted. What you make it? Oh, just some tea, you know. That's good. That girl's been on a non-stop sugar rush for weeks. I'm surprised she hasn't crashed yet. Rice and cilantro and the black bean and chicken. This has to stop. So we've decided to sit down with Huli to talk and just make sure everything's okay with her. Oh, we're staging a full-on intervention. Oh, Huli, do you wanna have a little chat for a second? Uh, sure, I've just got some brownies in the oven, so it'll be a little bit. That's kind of what we wanted to talk about. Um, okay. So, you've been baking a lot lately. I mean, I guess so, maybe like, times a week? No, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Seems like you only eat sugar nowadays. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it's just that... Are you doing okay? It seems like you've been a little sad lately. Oh, come on. Could a depressed person make this? <laughs> this is a lost cause. I really don't know what the big deal is. It's just baking. I might have a little too much sugar now and again, but it's not the end of the world. 
There's a lot of uncertainty nowadays, but when I bake, it kind of just all goes away. I mean, everyone has their thing, right? Whatever it takes to just forget about the world for a little bit and enjoy the day. You just do what you can.